Well, hello, friends, neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome out to the deck. Spoiled again by a nice Saturday out here uh, near Edmonton, Alberta. And saw this bottle on the shelf. This is the current uh, special annual release from Lot 40. If you guys know me at all, you know that I really like Lot 40 Rye. And this is Lot 40 Rye Explorations. So when we come back, I'm gonna talk about this. It's at cast strength, 55.5. It's all rye, but it's got a unique finish. This is finished in quarter casks that held a peated single malt. So when you come back, I'm gonna open this up. This will actually be an opening. I have not spoiled it and tried it yesterday when I bought the bottle, and I'll give you my thoughts. So if you got any Lot 40 at all, if you've got this exact thing, why don't you pour it and we'll explore it together. Three, four. Thanks for staying with me. I hope you can tell I'm pretty excited. I, I really appreciate Lot 40, you know, 100% rye. Uh, I really have liked or enjoyed, you know, the, the dark oak, the regular, and then all the different from 12 to 11 to all the different annual releases. This is the one that just came out now. So we're in 2021 uh, and it is, um, you know, 55.5% and finished 17 months in first fill peated single malt cast and their quarter cast try to get a better bottle shot here i don't know if it'll work and i i'm pretty excited to try this out mostly because it seems to be bringing together all the things that i like it's got of course all that rye goodness spiciness i imagine we'll see uh but then to to be to be put into smaller cast quarter cast so maybe we're getting a bit more wood interaction love my oak and then uh but these casts held um you know peated single malt so there's just so many cool things going on in this bottle now the thing is they may not come together well just because i like peat just because i like rye just because i like oak that often comes from a smaller cast doesn't mean that it's going to come together in a way that that i'm thinking is good but uh just if you can't tell my bias uh I'll clean that up later. I'm definitely biased in thinking I'm probably gonna like this. All right. So, has it shown up in your market yet? Are you in Canada? If you're not in Canada, it's probably not in your market. But uh, I know it was, I was seeing people showing up across the country. I'm here in Alberta and it's, it was like in one store and now it's in quite a few. I got this at one and beyond at a decent price, really. Uh, I don't know um, age, you know, like uh, some of the cast releases advertise an age, 12 year, 11 year, that kind of thing. This doesn't, which makes me think it's very likely to be um, the regular lot 40. And how old is that? I don't know. I feel like it's always six to eight. That's my sweet range. I don't know what it is, but I feel like, you know, it's got a little bit of age, but not a lot. Um, and then it would be aged in new oak uh, and then now finished that 17 months in quarter casks first fill of uh, peated single malt. So, see what we get on the whiskey. Obviously, first thoughts, I open it with you guys. Wow, that is such an interesting nose. It's got, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting, uh, you know, like, like a sweetness around that kind of herbalness, a little bit of grass, not so spiced right now. First thing out of the nose is almost like a sweet, yeah, sweet, maybe a little bit of brine. Yeah, it's that, it's that, it's not coming up as smoke, like oak char, or smoldering bonfire, but it's coming up as a, as, as that peat. Oh, I'm liking that. It's a sweet, earthy peat. Now on the edges, there's a little bit of that ash, a little bit of smolder. Back into that, boy, that pungent, earthy note. For me, 
It's always just my thoughts. Certainly no expert, just a guy who likes whiskey. That was a little bit sharp. No, it's 55%, right? And I'm going in fairly aggressive. I am outside. So, I'm, uh, you know, critical and notes and things will happen later inside, smaller amounts over time. Yeah, a sour. There's a sourness. There's a peat presence, an earthy, a herbal note. It's not that strong grass rye. Like I, I know, um, you know, having 100% rye, that might be what I'm thinking, but that's not... For me on the nose, it's not that. It's not a lemongrass. Well, the sourness might relate to lemon. But, uh, yeah. Oh, there. It took that long for me to get a little more familiar spice, kind of peppery. I pretty much said every flavor note I've ever got in a whiskey. So that's not very helpful for you. I, I, I first thought... Brine, earth, peat. Sweet, surprisingly. Ginger cookie, gingerbread house. Oak. Let's go with that. All right. Dying to try it. Hope you have a little bit of Lot 40 or this bottle. Cheers. That is all over the map. I was about to say, when I put it in my mouth, I'm really ending into that gingerbread house, ginger cookie, spicy, little smolder, little smoke, little earth, old leather, just old horse barn, that kind of thing. And then it kind of swung out of it just briefly. Now it's right back in there. This finish is very much uh very much i'm i'm cleaning out the barn like this is and i don't mean that in a negative way there's none of that you know animal stuff but i just mean it's got the old old hay dark leather oh wow what an experience this is just phenomenal. And it's so different. Although it does remind me a little bit of Two Brewers. What was that release? But because the peat now is clean right up again. And I'm just left with, um, you know, like what, what's left with that smolder or that earthiness or that, like, I don't know what they're using for their single malt. I don't know who they're getting it from. But, man. Hmm. And, and the spice now has come. Took a little while, um, but now it's hugging sides of my palate. Really, my tongue is going, oh yeah, we've got some kick, some cracked black pepper. You know, that just that nice pepper. Mm. Another sip. I might have to pour more. I was going to try it with water. I'll just put a little splash of water on it with you guys, for you guys. Not for you guys, but see if it takes anywhere really quickly. Um... Lots of spice, lots of earth, lots of, you know, dark leather, lots of smolder. The fruit I'm really reaching for. Um, sometimes in Lot 40, I get a really nice cherry or a red apple. And and I, like I, I definitely get that. And I'm not getting that up front here. It feels cask influence, which is great. It feels heavy spice influence, which is fine. Um, um, so some of that sweetness because i mentioned up front i was getting like a really quite a sweet note has just really backed right off in the palate the palate feels strongly influenced um by the by the spicier side of the palate mm. well and having said that you know the nose definitely uh is easier more aromatic and a little sweeter with water yeah, I could go so far as to say there's some buckwheat honey in there. Try it on the palate. Sancha, cheers. A little smoother. Some of the coating nature is gone, but it's still, still, um, you know, got some strength. 
you know, I should probably, I, and I will, try it um, from a cleaner palette with water because right now it just feels thinner a little bit and that's not accurate. You know, of course, adding water often brings out more oak, more wood. Well, and I've said it out loud, power suggestions, phenomenal in tasting. Now, very oaky, very oak char, smolder. So we went from the from the peat into some smolder and char and oak and all of that stuff. Very. So whether that was a power suggestion, totally could be. Um, or water really did bring out the oaks as it often does. But where I am now with water, drying oaky dram which I like. This has been a ride. I will obviously come back to it. I'll take my time. I'll sit through. I'll compare against other rides on the shelf. I'll do a better job trying to get you at real tasting notes. First thoughts are a complete gamble. There's too much emotion involved. But first thoughts, if you like smolder, if you like, you know, the leathered, spicy, oakier side of whiskeys, and you like full spicy, like right now, that pepper is strong in my palate then I, I just think, hunt this down, bring it home. It's only first thoughts, but this is fantastic for me. Really, really good. Missing some for the fruit notes. I do like the juicy fruit notes that I often get out of, out of Lot 40. I'm missing that in here. It's really been dried out and, and, and oaked and peated, but I mean, that's what they advertise and they're delivering. Dr. Don and team, awesome. Cheers. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you're having a good weekend. And hopefully I can get out here once more yet on the weekend. You take care.